Hello everyone and welcome to an introductory course to World Creator 2. My name is Tyler Purrier and I'm going to be taking you through how I created this terrain you see in front of you from start to finish. The goal of this course is to teach you how to use World Creator 2 in a realistic project based approach. You shouldn't need any prior knowledge as I will be guiding you through the process step by step while covering the ins and outs of the program. In addition, I will be covering not only the technical aspects to the program, but the meaning behind as to why I'm doing something a certain way. I'll be sure to cover the general workflows of creating a terrain and some tips and tricks along the way. Each video will be a continuation of what was covered in the previous video so that you can follow along more easily with a single project. By the end of this series, you ought to be versed enough to go out on your own and start creating worlds. So let's go ahead and get to know exactly what World Creator really is. At its core, World Creator 2 is a real-time application that focuses on the generation and design of landscapes and terrains. It is an artist-friendly solution that aims to be the fastest and easiest landscape design software to help you not only stay productive, but also focus more on creativity. It uses the power of your GPU to process everything in real time, so you can literally see mountains rise, canyons carved, or erosions flow without waiting minutes, sometimes hours, for a CPU-based solution to generate. Work Creator 2 uses a layer-based system to stack effects and details on top of one another, making it clear how each detail is affecting the other. There are several generators that can display these effects either procedurally or via a custom design that you shape or paint right on the scene. This approach is also seen in the fully integrated texturing solution within the application, making it easy to visualize realistic environments for anything from prototyping to full-scale visualizations. The end result will let you export your terrain to be used in other 3D applications and game engines. There are several apps that could easily use what you have created in World Creator 2 to further enhance the landscape use and how it is rendered. Before we begin, we must first purchase and download a copy of the World Creator application. If you haven't already purchased a copy, you can get started on the World Creator website by navigating to the Buy on the menu bar right up here at the top. So if we click this, let's go ahead and scroll down here on this page. And here we go, right here on the Compare Features. So here we have a good comprehensive breakdown of these purchasing options to help you compare what features come with each option. During this series, I will be using the professional version right here in this middle column, and I strongly encourage you to use this version instead of the standard version as it will give you a full set of features, making your workflow much easier and more flexible. To purchase the software, just scroll down to the very bottom of the features page here, or of the features on the buy page, and right here in this window, so we have the standard, professional, and enterprise versions. I'm just going to select the professional Windows version here, so click on this price, and a window is going to pop up to give you some system requirement information that you may or may want to know about, and then we just go ahead and select buy now. So after you have successfully purchased World Creator 2, you should receive an email within 24 hours with your login credentials and password to access the download page. With those, you can now go back to the website right here and then go to the top right of your screen where it says sign in. Let's go ahead and click this. With the email that you used to purchase the software and with the password that you received in the email, you can use those to plug in the fields here and then just go ahead and click on sign in. You will then arrive to a screen where you can see all the versions available to you on your personal account, depending on the version that you purchased. You even have some sample terrains if you scroll down here to the bottom that you can also download. I encourage you to do this to see how the effects and texturing of these samples were achieved. This is a really good practicing method so that you can learn a little bit more on what others have already done. All you have to do now is click on the latest release here to begin your download so that we can get started. Right up here in the top left is always going to be the latest stable release, so if we just click that, it'll automatically download. After the file has downloaded, all you have to do now is just right click on the zip file and then select extract all. 
and go ahead and just select extract. And over here on the left, I have the extracted folder. And on the right, what I have done is in my programs file folder, I have then created a new subfolder and named it role creator. I then dragged the subfolder contents that we extracted over onto my world creator folder. As you can see here, they're the same. So you can basically put world creator anywhere on your system and it's not your typical installation process. It's just an extracted file. So from the extracted folder, all we have to do is double click to open it and then to launch the application, just double click on the executable file here at the very bottom. Then the program launches as expected and your license is automatically attached to your computer. Now that we have World Creator 2 installed, let's go over the user interface in the next video. So without further ado, let's get started.